That should get that Dutch oven warmed up here. Well, it's a beautiful day out here in Iowa and we're gonna do some cooking over a campfire today. Today we're gonna be making some bison chili, some steakhouse style bison chili. Um, you know, one of the things that I do before I go out camping or have a picnic is I prep everything up that I'm gonna cook ahead of time. And what I mean by that is, you know, all the vegetables that you have to chop for the chili, um, the, the onions and the peppers, I go ahead and I pre-chop those and I put them in some baggies so I can bring them out. Whether you like beans in your chili, some people say beans, no beans, it's up to you. But I got the beans, I rinsed them off and put them in some baggies too, so it makes it a lot uh, easier for me to be able to cook and still have fun with the family while we're out uh, camping and having a picnic. The twist today on our chili is gonna be the bison meat that we're gonna be using. It's a healthy alternative to beef and it's not gamey at all, so don't be afraid to use it. Let's get started. Well, our Dutch oven's been heating up now and the first step into making our chili is, is gonna be adding our bacon. The bacon's gonna give us the needed fat to be able to cook the bison meat in this Dutch oven. Once our bacon's been cooking for about five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add our bison meat. We've already got it ready to go. We're gonna put it right in the Dutch oven and get it searing along with the rest of the bacon. Well, we got a good start going to our chili here. Go ahead and take this lid off. Wow, that looks great. We're gonna go ahead and start making it look more like a chili now. We're gonna add some of uh, the onions I've diced up, a little bit of garlics in there, and some great uh, fresh bell peppers. Man, it smells great going on this campfire. Once we get all those things in there, we'll just go ahead and give it a good stir, and we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes. Well, our peppers and onions have been cooking now with our bison in our Dutch oven, and we're gonna go ahead and check it. Still smelling great and looking good. We're gonna go ahead and add some beans now. Some people don't like beans in their chili, but I like putting a variety of beans from black beans, kidney beans, and pinto beans. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that right in there. To the chili, we're gonna add a couple cans of crushed tomatoes. I like using crushed tomatoes. Um, it kind of gives it a really smooth consistency in the end. So put a couple cans of that in. And some Worcestershire sauce. Put a few dashes or so. Get all that in there. Give it a good stir. It's really smelling great over this campfire. Well, we're gonna add our seasonings here. I got some chili powder. You can find your best flavored chili powder, the ones you like the most. And I add about a quarter cup or so of chili powder. Um, I just picked up something from the store, but a lot of people like to make their own blends of spices and chili powder. One of my favorite ingredients to add to the chili is some brown sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few big pinches to it. Get it stirred in, it adds a kind of a unique flavor and a little sweetness to this hearty chili that we're making over the campfire. Go ahead and stir that in. Get my lid back on it. We're gonna let it cook for about 30, 35 minutes. If you remember from our previous episodes, we did a little bit of cooking in a pie iron. We're gonna go ahead this time and put some corn muffin batter into our pie iron and cook it right next to our chili over the campfire. Ooh. Chili's ready. Our chili's been cooking now for about 35, 40 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and take it right off our fire, and we're gonna serve it up. How's everybody? Yeah, there's beans in it. We're gonna go ahead and dish it up. Even though this is bison chili, we're gonna treat it just like any other chili. Dish it up with, you know, your favorite toppings like cheese, diced onions, some sour cream. Anybody want some crackers? Please visit our website for this recipe of bison chili.